Hey Jason, it's Rick Dewey. Hey, let's try a video concept here. Uh, I was on the phone this morning with a multi-wall rep, and multi-wall is the manufacturer uh, down in Martinsville, Virginia, that makes this built-up corrugated like we've been discussing. Um, and I think is you know it provides a tremendous amount of cushioning. We use it a lot in the cabinet industry right now. The what we talked about yesterday was finding a U-channel that was a lot wider than this, maybe eight inches wide. And if this was the TV, and that we could then set it down into that U-channel. Well, the unfortunate thing is, is they do not make that U-channel wide enough. And it doesn't, uh, I don't really know how we would attach it anyway, outside of strapping and things that we were talking about before. But we came up with a, a different idea, which I would think you've probably thought of, but it might, you know, take it a step further because we need a piece of equipment for it. And that is to have uh, corners, in essence, made up just like this, and they could potentially be even more than five layers of corrugated. But <clears throat> these legs, okay, which are in this one maybe are about two and a half inches, we can actually have those made 10 inches by 10 inches. Those are made right now. They might even be able to go 12 by 12. So they'd be pretty significant in the length to go under the TV and over the top. And what if we had pressure sensitive adhesive or a peel and stick actually applied to that so that your employees would then feel that and then stick on all four of them real quick, which would be a very quick process. We'd only have four SKUs. I'm, I'm sorry, we'd only have one SKU because we'd only have one of these, okay? And maybe it would be six inches wide or seven inches wide, but something that it would fit the narrowest and then still protect the other ones. So <clears throat> those are put on real quick. Okay, that's fine, but it won't stay. There's no way you can ship it like that. So now going back to the stretch wrapper videos that I sent yesterday of a window wrapper. And this is just me in my kitchen trying to mock something up. But imagine that this is the turntable of a stretch wrapper, okay? And that, so that would rotate. And then we, we have a platform, you know, something, something that holds it, but it basically a window wrapper. It's exactly, it's a commercially available machine from Wolftec. Your existing machines could actually even be retrofitted to have this. So your employees then take the TV, all right, and they put it on to the wrapper, all right? So now it is suspended, and I've got these now up above. And now this is going to rotate, this is the turntable, okay? And now the stretch film, which is coming off, can now go underneath as it rotates around. And obviously then this spirals up and then it would then go over the top as well and then come back down. So I would then, number one, I'm wrapping the whole TV in plastic, which is probably good, maybe from a weather protection. Stretch film is pretty cheap, but now I've secured my four corners with the legs that are a lot longer so I get my corner protection. So, it's an idea, and we actually could, with some manhandling, we could, we could do a test of this in your facility. We would just need a way to balance this on your existing stretch wrapper, because the last piece of the puzzle, the reason that your existing stretch wrapper won't work is because it needs to have what's called a top platen that comes down and then holds this, so that while this turns, the TV doesn't go flying off. So really, that's the only attachment that we need, and we could, manhandle something with a broomstick or a, you know I've done it before we could figure it out but we could try it um, and I can very easily get samples of those so it's a thought